one Portuguese water dog, and he came in for some behavior issues. He jumps on people a lot. He doesn't always come when he's called. He pulls. He's very, very strong. He about pulled me down the hall. Um, he's also quite anxious. He, didn't, he hasn't been eating because he's uh, rather nervous with the separation of his owners. He chews on everything. He's a very destructive chewer. He takes shoes, pillows, rugs, and papers, to be exact. He, um, they said definitely he pulls. He doesn't stay on one side, so they trip over him because he goes around them, and in front of them, and behind them. And he needs to learn to stay. He won't stay for more than one second. And so he needs to learn to stay, down, stay. And they would also like him to go into his kennel without being basically coerced into it. He, um, he basically overall, I would say this is a dog who just has been on his own. He doesn't take direction very well. He's very easily distracted. And uh, he's also a very active dog. So we'll see where he's at in 10 Hi. Okay, let's try this. Rocky, sit. Stay. Good. Sit. Stay. Okay, good point, Rocky. Oh, good point. This is Rocky and he is just over one and he's had his 10 days of training. And he now knows down stay, which is what he's doing right now. Good dog, Rocky, good stay, good boy. And he is in a down stay and I'm walking a circle around him and he was just pulled out of his cage in the kennel so he's very excited at the moment and full of energy. And I'm walking around and I am talking to him and testing his stay. And I'm going to add some distance. Right now I'm going to go to the other side of the room and Rocky is still staying. I'm going to go open the door and as I open the door, that will be very exciting for him. You can see his ears lifting, he's showing some interest. But he didn't get up. Good boy, and I can tell him, good dog, good stay. And Rocky knows to stay until he has his release word. When I return to the dog, which is okay, Rocky, free. Good boy. That's right. Good. Good dog. Good boy, Rocky. And you can see the attention that Rocky is paying to me. Rocky, come. Good boy. Good boy, Rocky, sit. Good. Good sit. What a good boy. That's very good. Rocky, down. Good dog. And there's a kennel person going by who is right now taking Rocky's interest, but he still listens, even with that distraction. What a good dog, Rocky. Okay, Rocky, come. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Good come. Here, Rocky, sit. Good. Rocky, I'm going to make some distance now. I have probably about 20 feet here. Rocky, down. Good dog. And this is after 10 days of Rocky's training where he was having difficulty with sit stays and down stays. And you can see he's doing a lot better and you can see the attention that he's paying me, which is very good. His focus with me rather than running around the room as it was before. Rocky was also very difficult to walk. He was pulling. He just wasn't very focused on the handler. Good boy, Rocky. Good boy. Lie down, stay. Rocky's owners also complained about stays, so they didn't feel he would stay for more than a second. And I'm going to show you that he has a nice down stay, he has a nice sit stay, and I can walk away with distance, 
I'm going to open the door for distraction. Except there's dogs, so we're just going to do it like that, which usually will get the dog up. See his tail, waking his tail, he's anticipating getting to go. So, in the dance day, I'm going to use a distraction of the door where he thinks he might get to go somewhere. Going out of sight for a second, which for most dogs is very hard. They want to follow, they want to go somewhere. He's anticipating getting to go somewhere. And when he hears his release word, he can get up. Free! You're free! You're free! Good boy! You're free! Good boy! That's right! Good dog! Now I'm trying to show how that Rocky can come when called. And there's a distraction of a kennel person walking a dog that Rocky's very interested in. Rocky, come! Good boy! That's a good dog! What a good boy! But Rocky came over because Rocky is a good dog. Rocky, down. And you can see the distractions right there, the two kittens. Stay, Rocky. Good boy. And again, this is after 10 days of training when Rocky's owner complained that he was jumping, pulling, not staying. She said he would stay for less than a second on his sits and downs. And now he's sitting very nicely and staying very nicely. Rocky, come! Good boy! And coming right past the distracting kitties when called. What a good boy! And I am going to call Rocky from his downstay past the distracting kitties because come was a difficult exercise for Rocky according to his owners 10 days ago. Rocky, come! Good boy! That's a good dog! Good dog, right past the kitties. Rocky, sit. Good boy! Rocky, sit. Rocky, down. Good boy. You can see Rocky nose back. Back, back. Okay, good boy. Hey, Rocky. Good boy, Neil. So this is Rocky, Portuguese wire dog, who's been training 10 days. Owners complain a lot about jumping, pulling. He picks everything up off the floor. So we're working on healing and getting him to move nicely with this leg. Good. Heel. Rocky, back. So he knows when that leg starts moving back, even with the loop and the leash, Rocky will also start moving back with the leg. And so now he tends to be, if anything, a little bit behind the leg rather than pulling me down the hall like he did when I first brought him out. Heel, Rocky. When I stop, I expect Rocky to sit. The liver treat on the floor, I'm going to walk him by and we'll see if it distracts him. Come on, Rocky. Leave it. Rocky's learned not to pull on the leash and pull me down the hall. I'm going to go by the kitties and we'll see if that distracts them because that's another good distraction. Come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Rocky's not sure about the kitties, I think. Rocky, heel. Let's go. Good boy. That was good. That was a good boy. That was a good boy. And notice, even though I'm hyping the dog up, no jumping. Yay! No jumping. If I come up here, Rocky. 